What's up everybody? Today I, uh, I'm going to do a video I've been promising for a long time. So we're in the GTR. Um, we've got the titanium mid-pipe, the titanium cat-back exhaust. I should probably do this with the windows up because the wind noise is crazy. So uh, as I said, we've got the titanium mid-pipe and the titanium cat-back on there still on stock downpipes. And uh, I promised you a video of this before I put the downpipes on. We have all the parts in the garage to go full bolt-on with flex fuel E85. And we're super excited for it. I hope that you guys stick around. Uh, wow. <laughs> I hope you guys stick around for that and, and you know progress through the build of this car and this channel with us but uh i wanted to do a video that showed you guys the audio quality of simply doing a mid pipe and a cat back that's the easiest upgrades to do um for me personally the sound quality of the gtr stock is one of the worst exhausts i have ever owned now uh, little background on me my first car was a 1996 Acura Integra I got some insurance money from a fender bender that I fixed myself and was able to put a turbo kit on the car bought a terribly stupid big semi truck size turbo because it was fast and furious era and I thought it was cool and I really I drove that car into the dirt uh, I ended up buying a 2005 Mustang after that a GT I know it was a convertible I'm sorry I wish this truck would go uh, after that, we traded that in for a Nissan Titan. We traded the Titan in for a Speed 3. Traded the Speed 3 in for an Evo X. Traded the Evo X in for this GTR. That's where we're currently at. And uh, I guess that's my filler, my background for you while I wait for traffic to clear up so that I can go. Uh, we will do a couple little pulls here for you guys. You can kind of hear the auto quality with it, the audio quality with the windows up, windows down, in cabin. Uh, we'll eventually be buying a lapel mic for this so that you get better audio of me. I've watched a couple videos. I know if I'm not talking directly to the camera, it's a little quiet. Uh, we haven't, well, we'll wait because why not? I've only got 10 minutes to get to work. So here, we'll get ready to go. This is inside cabin, windows up, air off. First gear. That's, oh, my phone fell into Narnia. So that is first and second gear there. Um, through red line, so roughly zero to 60, give or take, uh, which isn't bad. Uh, I do, I have the track edition GTR, so I don't have seats back here. There were never seats back here. All we have is essentially a blanket. It's a noise dampening blanket that lays down over the rear cutouts. Uh, I can do a walk through that later. I, I'm planning on doing a full detailing video interior and outside of the car, and really just a walk through to show you guys what it looks like, I'm sure. Most of you that are finding my channel have been through a GTR before, maybe not sat in it personally, but you've at least watched a video where someone's been inside of it. I know you don't get a whole lot of view of this. The lovely black roof is about all that you're gonna see. Maybe my racing harness is on the seat next to me. Meanwhile, this lady is just in a slow-mo drag with me. Um, we're, I mean, we're cruising in uh, sixth gear now, about 45 miles an hour, you can hear road noise is louder than the drone of the exhaust. We're maintaining 45 to 46 at 15, 1600 RPMs. We're gonna actually get over real quick in fourth gear. Uh, no, we're not, because this Yukon's gonna cut me off. Um, but I really wanted to give you guys a good feedback of the drone noise, how loud it is. Uh, as far as I've experienced, titanium is the loudest exhaust because the metal can be more thin walled and that allows for more exhaust note. Um, we're back into first gear now, so I will stop and continue this in a minute. going five 
drive over the speed limit right now, and it looks like a scene in Fast and Furious where they're, uh, was it Paul Walker is driving the Evo down the, the interstate, whipping through the cars like they're not going five miles an hour. But that's that's an average driving time here. So uh, we do have a red light coming up. Um, it is balls cold outside right now. But we'll do a windows down when we get a lane for you guys so you can kind of hear the difference. I'm a huge windows down advocate for driving. I love having my windows down. I grew up in Florida, so I got to do that a lot. And here in the desert, unfortunately, in the summer, it gets to about 120 degrees Celsius. So, or, oh my God, that'd be unbearable. 120 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is very, very hot. You know, we're talking 50 plus degrees Celsius. So it's hard to drive the windows down. In the winter, it goes 90 degrees on Monday to 50 degrees on Tuesday. It gets cold very, very quickly. And it's difficult to, to go windows down here because it's such a rapid change. Um, but we'll get it for you because that's what you're here for. I actually have a street bike approaching me, so we'll probably end up having to run this street bike too. much faster than usual so maybe I should make these videos with you guys more often um, we will start doing vlogs this is probably gonna be the first actual video I upload for this channel we had another channel that I do uh, but that's majoritively gaming I try to split it between gaming and car videos but the, the audience there is too diverse um, the people who come to the channel to see the GTR aren't gonna want to watch me play dumb phone games or battle royale or things to that extent and I don't blame them I get in my moods where I want to watch car videos, so I go to a car channel. I want to watch gaming videos, I go to a gaming channel, I want to watch vlogs, I'm gonna to go to that. So we'll keep this channel really just about the GTR, about vlogging, about cars, you know. Uh, hopefully we can make it to a no-fly zone prior to our move date. Uh, that's when they bring out tons of race cars. We're hoping to be about 650 to the wheels when that happens. And when that does happen, we will uh, try to get some dash cam footage of us racing a couple Lamborghinis, some other GTRs, Ford GTs. They bring the, the whole lot out there, man, from 
2,000 horsepower cars to stock Honda Civics and Subarus that just want to see what they run. So here we go. one of the least expensive titanium exhausts for one of the most expensive non-supercars out there then i hope that you found this useful i hope that you'll like it i hope you guys let me know in the comments below that you like it obviously i'm going to try to get this channel to grow as quickly as possible so that i can get money from that to continue building this car to give back to you guys i want to 